tell us how many days a worker on the minimum wage would have to work this year in order to afford a night at a luxury hotel, say in Crete. If she wants to talk, if she wants to talk about taxes and easing the burden on the lowest paid, I'd remind her, whenever a Labour Party has gone into government, the economy has nosedived, unemployment has soared, and taxes have gone through the roof. Under this government, we cut income tax, saving the every worker £1,200 each year. We've introduced and extended the national living wage, so full-time workers uh, £4,000 better off each year. We've doubled uh, the uh, free childcare for working parents, yeah. worth up to £5,000 for every child every year. When Labour takes office, unemployment goes up and uh, the economy goes down. Yeah. Angela Rayner. Mr Speaker, he talks about the economy. He doesn't even know how much his own holiday costs. <laughs> so let me tell him, let me tell him. A worker, a worker on the minimum wage would need to work an extra 50 days to pay for a single night at his favourite resort. Probably, probably, Mr Speaker, even more if the sea was open. The very same week, the very same week that the government is cutting universal credit, working people face soaring energy bills.